Good morning, beautiful souls. I still can't get used to having my phone around this way after years of having landscape mode. All right, I'm gonna try and position this on against my steering wheel this morning. How are you, everybody? It's Rebecca Thompson here. If you don't know me, then now you do. I work with women predominantly and help them to really do what they love and take the handbrake off, get the obstacles out of the way of them showing up in their higher self with more joy, a sense of freedom, a sense of being fully aligned to their purpose. And this feeling of well-being that we all want, don't we? Don't we all want to just feel a well-being, a sense of fulfillment and that what we're doing here matters? Because it does. So what I wanted to talk about is some of the ways we get in our own way because it happens without realizing it because the power and the spell of kind of peer pressure or just society or the way people talk and the way most humans are and show up is so strong that you can find yourself getting drawn into that without really kind of safeguarding that or without even realizing or without particularly understanding the power of how you show up in creating your reality. Now, I know for some of you listening to this who are maybe feeling that they are very much in struggle and experiencing pain, discomfort <clears throat> right now, that this is going to be a little challenging to hear and I get that, but stay with me and understand that it is the truth is the truth, <clears throat> excuse me, as I know it, too much dairy yesterday, made a big pot of chai yesterday and it's kind of <clears throat> getting to me, it's the truth as I know it and I've seen it again and again and again and the more I have put my focus on what I'm going to share with you, the opposite of this energy sapping resistance, the more, even more abundance and more positivity and more joy, more freedom, more vitality has come into my life. And it was already flowing in. And as soon as I have shifted this to even more, it's huge. So what are we talking about here? Where is that resistance coming in? How are you creating resistance in your field? You know what the biggest thing that you are doing that is creating resistance in your field is to talk about the resistance how you're pers you, you don't know it's resistance right but talking about the struggle talking about the pain talking about the difficulties when we put words to that and it's not just the words but when we infuse those words with feeling just notice it yourself so bring some words in now just to try it out i am um, i struggle to get up in the morning um just put some words out that I struggle to, I never seem to make the income that I want. I never seem to get the clients that I want. This conversation with someone is, is challenging. This relationship is difficult. We're all getting older and that's why I've got this, this pain in my knee or whatever it is. Like I hear this kind of stuff constantly. But when you are saying that, Feel the energy of that. It is creating more resistance in your field to that which is not that. And it is creating a resonance for that which is that. There is nothing sort of out there poking you and telling you, 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 you know, testing you and giving you rewards for this, that and the other or putting obstacles in your path. It's not about that. It's about you are doing it. You are creating that resistance. You are creating more energy that brings in the resonance of that. Yeah? So when people say to me, oh, you're so lucky, you're so blessed, or you're so this, that, or the other, because they see me doing so well, they see my health doing so well, they see me, um, you know, just doing so well in my business, being successful, being happy, looking well. It's not about luck. It's about purposefully deciding that I am the creator of my reality. I get to choose every moment how I perceive my reality and I get to choose how I feel about that reality. And I've got very good at sitting with any uncomfortable feelings. It's only with sitting in the truth of any uncomfortable feelings that we can allow the true essence of who we are that is unchanging behind those moving surface emotions to shine through and to be able to drop into this sense of gratitude for everything that I am and everything that I have and everything that surrounds me that is already here. 
But if I start to focus on the gaps, the things that I might want to be better, the things that may not be, you know, the very highest, although I can't even think of anything right now, um, then I start to pull down that. If I think about the people that I didn't convert at my last, um, you know, didn't come onto my program at the last, you know, event, or if I think about, you know, when I stuffed my toe, or if I think about, I don't know, something someone may have said to me, or someone who pulled out in front of me, or whatever, like in, in their car. If I put my attention on that, it just brings down the vibration and puts out there more of that same resonance and attracts more of that. We know about like attracts like, and yet I know you're not putting the attention as much on appreciating the goodness and being very deliberate about how you use your language as you could be. And I, and why do I know that? Because I wasn't didn't used to do that and it still takes deliberation. I won't say effort, it still takes awareness and this sense of being deliberate, right, and focusing in order to frame things in a more um, expansive way because I won't just say positive. You can't just spin something to the positive if you don't really fully believe it because then you're just creating more resistance to what is. So it's like seeing and feeling what is and how can you frame that in a way for yourself that feels more expansive and not resistance. So say you're going through something challenging right now, you're in a lot of pain. You can't just say, and I say you're in a lot of back pain, you can't just say, oh, I don't have any back pain. My back is feeling amazing when you're sitting there in the experience of, oh my gosh, I have a lot of back pain. But if you get into the story of my back is so sore, maybe it's always going to be like this. I can't do this stuff. What am I going to do? Oh my gosh, this is really intense right now. I don't know how I'm going to do this thing that I need to do tomorrow. If you get into that energy, you're creating more resistance in your field to the feeling of wellness. And wellness is available for you always, 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 always. There's a reason why you're feeling this back pain right now, right? But if you could shift that energy just a little bit, not all the way, because there'll be resistance to, I feel amazing, I don't have any back pain. But if you could shift it to, I'm curious that my body right now is experiencing discomfort. I know from past experience that this is not going to be forever. I know and I can feel right now that there is something in here for me around helping me to just pause and to feel. So I'm going to stay with this feeling of allowing myself to pause because pausing actually feels really good. And I'm learning that I don't have to react to things and know that this is going to be forever and stay stuck in this suffering. So this is such a great experience. Thank you so much, universe, for giving me this opportunity to pause and feel into how I perhaps may have co-created this and to feel and see a new way forward where I can move forward with least resistance, right? Now, can you feel the difference in that energy? Yes, pause and notice, Rose, totally. And it's okay to notice the discomfort, but not to keep feeding it by adding more weight, more accumulated baggage and old crappy stories into that, which intensify and weigh down that energy and create more of the same. You need to find a way of feeling into a way of describing that or feeling that for yourself in a way that feels expansive because everything is a gift for you. Everything is happening for you. Remember, not to you. So in this back, case, back pain scenario that we're talking into right now, it would be the feeling of, ah, oh, this is happening for me. Thank you so much for this gift in which I now get to take a pause and feel how I have co-created this in my language, in my beliefs, in my behaviors. Ah, oh, let me just feel into that. And now as you start to use that language, can you feel, if you were listening just before, the, the lightness that comes in rather than, oh my gosh, I'm in so much pain. This is agony. I can't do this thing tomorrow. This may, may, what if this never goes away? What's wrong with me? Right? How that just pulls you down into the story. And we have to watch it because other people will be, how are you? And you're like, oh, I'm in pain. Right? It's, again, it feeds the story rather than staying with perhaps what might feel uncomfortable of shifting your language to create something that feels more expansive. And when you start to do that, it opens a doorway, it opens a window of, of le less resistance to feeling better, but also access to probably to other language that feels even greater. 
because you will, 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 will notice the difference. You will notice the difference in how you are feeling, how you are showing up and what comes to you so quickly. And that is what feeds the faith that you have the power over your vibration and you have the power over what you create and bring into your life. You absolutely do, 100%. And I started off not like knowing this, but not fully believing it and not committing 100% to how I wanted to show up and I've noticed as I've got more and more coherent physically, emotionally, mentally, energetically and how I choose to be and how I choose to frame things, that's when I see massive, massive shifts in the path of resistance to my joy, my freedom, my vitality, my abundance and life is pretty damn good life right now I have to say life freaking awesome so i'm about to head off to yoga if you have any questions about that do let me know i get that people are moving through difficult situations and it can be really challenging in those times of transition to really step back and feel and see what is going on i get that i work with women in that transition and helping them through to something that is way more expansive, more joyful, vitality, well-being. It is there for you. We are just, many of you beautiful souls can get caught, and we all do, get caught in the patterns of complaining, of struggle, of effort, of trying, of shoulds. And that just puts you in the vortex of more pain, more struggle, more effort. Right, there is another way. So reach out to me if you're like, yeah, I think it's making sense, but I really need some help with this to pull me into a different sort of state and way of seeing this. This is what I do. So just reach out to me and you know, PM me, have a little look through some of the other things here on this page. And um, yeah, wishing you all the best. Today is an amazing day. If you are having some dark thoughts right now, have a little look around you and go, oh my gosh, I have a 100% success rate with my life right now because I am still here and I'm still going and I'm still breathing and living and able to look around me and experience and appreciate the sunshine and those incredible clouds and oh my gosh, nature is just stunning right now. Yeah, you have this capacity. Expand into it. I love you. Have a great day.